Well, as we wrap up Caribbean Heritage Month, we close with this profile of Haitian American artist Morel Doucet from Oolite Arts and the University of Miami's cinematography program. Filmed by Professor Edmund Talavera and his students, White Noise shows us how Doucet brings nature together and art for a powerful look at coral bleaching and our climate change. We've been on the planet for a very short amount of time, but we've had a dramatic impact on the ecosystem. A lot of my work revolves around themes of coral reef bleaching. And so for me, as a humanity, if we can come together and save the coral reef, I think we can have a greater impact in how we interact with each other. I use objects from the ocean and the coral reef because I'm attracted to the visceral quality. The forms are organic and it shows how nature is an art form within itself. I think um, being Haitian American, voodoo plays a integral part into my work. When I think of the ceremonies that take place in voodoo, many of those ceremonies um, connect back to the earth. Since I use clay as a medium in my work, I see a connection between voodoo and earth and ceramic and clay. I go into each neighborhood in South Florida and I gather a variety of flora and fauna from each neighborhood. I then bring them back into the studio and I scan them through a process of silk screening and then they become part of the artwork. So for me, um, when I think of flora, fauna, leaf, rocks, plant, there are these different systems that connect um, and we're part of that connection. Ceramic has this incredible visceral and textile experience. It's a, it's a medium that always changes, always transforms and adapts. Ceramic as a material is very unforgiving. Whenever you pour that liquid into a vessel, it captures every imperfection, um, and so you can't hide from that. I want them to be inspired to see um, a little piece of nature that I see in the environment, and that resonates back in them. fragility of ceramic, actually for me, it parallels the experience of being a black male here in the U.S. Those brown figures came from a very interesting study that was done on the color brown. They had a group of about 500 people. Each one was given a box of crayon, and they were all told to pick their favorite color from the box of crayon. In each one of those studies, the color brown was the only color left in the box of crayon. A lot of the work been about the environment and the figure has been absent from it. I like to go in because there's something vulnerable about the figures that I draw. Mm -hmm. 
what I want people to take away in my drawings and painting work, it's that there's beauty in being black, you know? The skin, you know, is this badge of courage. It's beautiful and is made to be celebrated. The work is multi-layered. The work may entice you in the very beginning, but the longer you kind of spend time with it, it becomes a double-edged sword.